guidance for municipalities on how to enforce this stay at home advisory and, and also to make sure that non essential businesses really are staying closed or under any penalties. Well, the, stay, the, stay, the stay at home advisory is an advisory. I said during the press conference yesterday that I don't believe I can or should, or that we can or should, um, shut people in their homes for days on end. I, I don't think it's good for public health. I don't think it's the right decision. Um, and people do need to go to their grocery store. If they work in an essential business or they work providing an essential service, they need to be able to do that. Um, they need to be able to go to the pharmacy. If they work in health care, they need to be able to go to the health care institution they work for, um, which is why the stay-at-home information that the department and the command center put out is advisory. With respect to essential and non-essential um, operations, the essential operation portfolio that we put out, which is available on the state's website, um, builds off a national standard that every other state that's head down this road has basically used as their baseline. And I don't know what the percentage of crossover would be between and among states, but I'm going to put it north of 90 percent. For all intents and purposes, it is what people believe needs to continue to operate and continue to perform during a time like this. Um, we have had thousands of inquiries, mostly done online, back and forth through emails um, with the Department of Housing and Economic Development to find clarity around some of the uh, categories. But generally speaking, it's a pretty well-defined um, and relatively user-friendly list. And if communities have questions about that stuff, um, they can reach out to HED, um, but they can also reach out um, to the folks they typically deal with who are in local services and, and get guidance and advice from them as well. There are penalties on the, um, there are escalating penalties on the, uh, on the issue associated with non-essential operations. Some cities, some towns and cities are shutting down parks. Is that something you advise? We did not advise shutting down parks, no. What we did advise was no more than 10 in a gathering and, you know, no basketball games, no touch football, none of the sort of athletic engagements in parks that would create the kind of person-to-person -person contact, which we've all been saying for so long, is uh, exactly the opposite of what we should be doing.